Hi everyone, it's Brittany here, and I just wanted to do a quick tutorial um, on my little rosette flowers I used for my mini album yesterday. So, um, I have this circle punch, and it is about, let's see, one and a half inches. Um, this one's scalloped, it really doesn't matter, it could even be two inches, it, you know, you could do whatever size you want. And then I just take a scrap piece of cardstock and I punch out a circle. And then I also use like vintage buttons and I don't take off the little back piece here. The little loop. I don't take it off. I don't, um, you probably could, but I don't feel the need to. And then this is the fabric that I'm using and it's, I don't really know what kind of fabric it is. It's like silk, but you know it's not. Um, it's like the cheap silk or whatever, I don't know. Anyways, so I just keep it the one side length and then I just fold it a few times so it's easier to cut. And then I cut um, about an inch and a half to two inches. So you're going to have this long strip. Um, and it doesn't matter if it's straight or not. Um, mine are not. I, if I can make it any easier on myself, I do. So what I do first is I take it and I put a teeny tiny bit of hot glue on one end and then I just fold it in half. Um, this is going to give us a point which is a good starting point. So then I put another one, another little dot here and then I just fold that in half. So you kind of have a little bit of a easier spot to start with. And then with our circle. I just take my circle here and I put a little bit of glue in the middle. And this glue is so hot like it takes forever to dry. Um, I'm going to try and go as fast as I can but I usually I let it cool for a few. Usually I stick this on here and then I'll let it cool for a few just because otherwise it'll burn your fingers through the back. Um, yeah so I just do that. And then we're going to start twisting, and it doesn't matter what way you twist. Um, obviously, when you twist it, you can see the shiny part and some not. Well, sometimes you won't see any shiny. Um, you'll see the back side of the fabric. So if you don't like that, change the way you're twisting it. Um, and then what I do here is I just I use my, um, my glue dot, which is like a center, a circle in the center. And I just kind of go around it because I'm leaving a spot for my button to go on. So I do that and then I just, I twist up my fabric here. And you could go as tight or as little as you want. And I just follow my glue. So now it looks like this. And I just push it in a little bit. But as you can see, there's kind of a center left here. Oops, sorry, I'm a little low. But there's a center in there. And then that'll give me a spot to insert that button. So now that it's dry, we're just going to keep following this around and twisting. And like I said, if you guys want it tighter um, rolls, you could twist it more. And if you wanted, I mean, you could do this not with this satiny, whatever type of fabric this is. And um, you would get a really nice fray with some cottons. Or even flannels. I mean, that would fray really pretty. So, we're just going to keep going. And sometimes I even switch up the way that I'm rolling it. Like I might roll it away from me and then roll it towards me. Um, you know, it really just depends. And I'm not too concerned about keeping it in a total circle just because I like it. I don't like them all to be exactly the same. So then we just continue on. Twisting. dry a little bit. And 
and you could always go in with another color you know like cut this off and then go in with another color around and that would look really pretty also so here's what it's looking like and then we're just gonna keep going around and for some reason I always have more left um, on one side and not the other but I don't really mind so if you're more precise and you want it to be a perfect circle you could um, you know measure out exactly the circle point so that's what I do and just keep going see so now all these sides are covered and then there's still this paper now I do one of two things it depends on what size I want I will either keep going around and glue on the sides of these um, because there's no paper left so I could I could still glue it next to this or I I'm gonna do this I'm just going to snip this off I'm gonna leave a little tail and then there's still a little paper here so I'm just gonna go ahead and put some glue there and twist this and add it there and then I'm just going to take my glue and put some on the back here and I'm just gonna twist this into the glue so now it's secured to the back and you really can't tell on the front um, it's coming back right here but you really can't tell um, and then I just take my scissors and trim off the excess of our circle so there's that and then I just take a little bit of glue first I make sure that you know I get this where I want it and if you find that you didn't leave enough you can take your scissors and I just go like this and just twist it around um, and that will make room so it will fit in there we put a little glue and add our center so there is our little rosette I used kind of a big flower for this one, but, or a big button, I mean. But these are the ones that I made yesterday, and I used a bunch of different buttons. And you can see they're, they're all different. I mean, no two come out the same. So that is my quick little tutorial. Um, I also wanted to show real quick, I, think, I believe her channel is A Little Shabby Chic. And she had posted this flower tutorial, and I had shown you some of these flowers before. I think she calls it the loop flower. Um, I made this with the same exact fabric, this white. And then I just sprayed it with um, the bur something burlap. Woven burlap, I think. And it looks really pretty, um, really vintage-y here. I'll show you a So there's that, and I just want to show that real quick. Um, yeah, so thank you all for watching, and have a great day.